Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. Here we have a challenge before us. Yeah, the question is a wonderful one, it's a nice one. Here we have a triangle and a circle together. The circle is inscribed inside the right angled triangle. And we have triangle A, B, C. Giving the size, small letter A is 21, the small letter B, which is uh, the opposite is 28, and small letter C is 35, the hypotenuse. Now, we are asked to find the radius of this circle. Now, if you take a look at this critically, O is the center of the circle. So, is there any relationship between the inscribed circle and the triangle itself? Yes, there is a relationship. Why or, or how? If you check this inscribed circle, you discover that this circle is touching the hypotenuse, is touching the adjacent, and it's also touching the opposite. Okay, so since it's touching all three sides of the triangle, then there is a strong relationship between this circle and the triangle. Yeah, I'm going to use two methods in solving this challenge. Okay, and the two methods are wonderful. In fact, the last one is very beautiful. So I urge you to stay from the beginning to the end of this math class, even as I take you on this journey. So let's take our solution. All right, so we take our solution. Before we continue, if you've not subscribed, consider subscribing. And when you subscribe, turn on the notification bell because we release videos all the time. Yeah. All right. So now, given this side here, let's bring out the value of A, B, and C. So from here, let's take the quantity given. So given, we have our small letter A is equal to, look at it, it's 21. Then our small letter B is equal to 28. And our small letter C is equal to our 35. Okay. The angles are not giving a power from angle C, but we are not bothered about that, right? Good. Now, here we're going to use a very nice relationship. We all know what is called the Euros formula. The Euros formula is used to calculate the area of a triangle when it is a scaly triangle, okay? All right. So when the height is not given, we use the Euros formula. And um, if you are familiar with the Euros formula, there is what we call X. And X stands for the semi-perimeter of the triangle. And how do we find the value of X? We know that X is equal to A plus B plus C all over 2, right? So there is a strong relationship between the semi-perimeter of this triangle and the radius of the circle inscribed inside. Okay, so how do we now find that? So first of all, let's find our X, which is the semi Perimeter. So we have our x is equal to, we know that is a, the plus rb plus c all over 2. This is the formula for our semi perimeter, right? So let's go ahead and substitute our a is 21, the plus rb is 28, and rc is um, 35. So we have 35, the everything all over 2. So let's add up and see what this gives us. 5 plus 8 will give us. 13. 13 plus 1 will give us 14. Carry 1. Then 3 plus 2 will give us 5. 5 plus 2 will give us 7. Plus the one you carry will give us 8. Everything all over 2. So if we divide down, this will give us 42. So our x is equals to 42. Here comes the relationship that exists between semi-perimeter and the radius inscribed in. So from here, our radius can be calculated towards radius x, sorry, arrow rather, uh, radius arrow will be equal to our x, which is the semi perimeter, the minus rc, small letter c. Okay, so the x calculated for is what? 42, and our side c is 35. So we have here 35. So if you subtract this, this will give us our 7. Okay? So therefore, our radius is equal to 7. This is the first method. Very straightforward, right? Now, the second method to calculating the radius of this very inscribed circle is this. Now, we have our A, B, C. 
So first of all, let's take a second method first. Second method. All right. Again, this one is the first method. This is first method, please. All right, let me state it. First method. All right. Now in the second method, we have to go back to these values again. We're going to make use of only these values. I'm not going to consider the semi perimeter. And what is the relationship? The relationship between this and the radius is this. So we have our radius, radius arrow is equal to a times b, a times b, all over a plus b plus c. That is just the relationship. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and you know multiply. What is our a first? Our a is two one times. What is our b? Our b is twenty eight all over. Then our a we have twenty one plus twenty eight plus thirty five. So let's multiply and see this. Our twenty eight. So let's take it here. Our twenty eight. The times our twenty one. 1 times 8 will give us 8, 1 times 2 will give us 2, 2 times 8 will give us 16, carry 1, 2 times 2 will give us 4, plus the one you carry will give us 5. So if we add up this, this will give us 8, 8, 5. So we have 5, 8, 8. So we have 5, 8, 8, all over. If we add up this, that is what we did here already. That will give us 84. Now, if you divide this out, it's going to give you 7. So, therefore, our arrow is equal to same 7. Now, look at what we got in the first method. We also got what? 7. So, either you use this method or you use this method, you get the same answer. Okay, so this brings us to the end of this wonderful math class. The radius to this circle is 7. If you learn something from this video, Drop it in the comment section. You have a better way of solving this challenge. Saving time. Drop it in the comment section also. So that Online Mass TV can equally learn from you. Thank you for being there. Keep watching Online Mass TV. We bring more videos your way. Until we meet you in our next class. Keep winning. Bye. For now.